or what do you want the future to be? You know, I just finished my master's, so my future right now is sleep. <laughs> True. I, I want T3 to, to, to thrive beyond belief because I have so much in me that I want to share, and that I want to give, and that I'm passionate about, and that I know can benefit people. And for Three Empowered Ladies, I want us to continue to sponsor and host events that will bring, you know, like minds together and to inspire people to, you know, take on their wildest dreams or conquer their fears. Um, I'm actually now working with the Nirvana Relations. Um, they're going to come in and redo my marketing, my branding, um, potentially manage me as far as um, public speaking events. So I'm hoping this new venture um, and deal with them will bring me many, many blessings and get my voice out there to the masses because I, I want to reach people. Not just locally, but all over. I want T3 to be an inspiration globally. Right. And, you know, whether it's a year, two, three, or five years, that is my goal. I, every time I set out a goal, I accomplish it. And that's one of the things I tell my clients. I'm here because it was a goal. Right. And I'm here, so I know I can go anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So hopefully in the next five years, you'll see T3, you know, billboards, TV, media, <laughs> everywhere. That's, you know, that's my goal. But I, want, I don't want it to become watered down. I want it to continue to be organic and from my heart yeah. and to help people. Even if it grows beyond my wildest dreams, I still want to have substance to it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you plan on, do you have any other like aspirations as far as any other businesses you want to go into? Or do you want to keep it solely like coaching and expanding mm -hmm. upon that? I would like to write one day. Okay. Um, not a memoir, as people call them, but I would like to write um, a book on, you know, my struggles in life and how I got to where I'm at. Um, because I think a lot of people see the struggle, but they can't see past that. Mm -hmm. And my, I tell people all the time, my story is the struggle, the survival, and I made it. And I'm still not where I want to be. Mm -hmm. But I want to publish something that shows people like, wow, she did this, she went through that, but she made it. Right. I want my testimony to to really reach people. Yeah. So hopefully one day I write a book. I actually know an uh, entrepreneur, African American woman who has her own publishing company. So her and I, you know, we talk often. So there's potentially some ideas that we've thrown off each other. So maybe a book in the next five to ten years. Great. She thinks sooner, but I'm like, give us some time. Yeah. <laughs> I want my book to be more than like 20 pages. <laughs> so give me some time. So Absolutely. maybe a book, and I am interested in going back to school. Um, to get a law degree. So nice. we'll, we'll see. Ooh, Very ambitious goals. We'll see. <laughs> yes, and I'm sure you're going to accomplish all of them, of course. Yeah, I'll probably be asleep by the time I accomplish them. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> sleep somewhere in there. Yeah. <laughs> so, any advice you can give to potential entrepreneurs or mm -hmm. entrepreneurs that are out there but are kind of like maybe giving up on themselves or don't see a way out, you know, they embark on a career and they're just like, oh, I don't know, like, what's next? Because it's hard kind of being an, it's hard being an entrepreneur. Because and being a woman and being African-American is hard. Oh, yeah. Because it's like, right. oh, you're a woman, you're weak, you're African-American, we know there's issues there and just no one's going to support you. I would say be true to your brand, be true to yourself and continue to give the same, you know, energy that you did in the beginning throughout the process throughout the beginning and no's are sometimes the best answer mm -hmm. i've had a lot of no's in my life um and i can say those no's got me to better yeses right so with no's that like you know i know some people struggle like darn i was gonna get this but like, plan to get this yeah. job and or you know i plan to be mm -hmm. here and i'm not yeah. because of this and that but you, you're saying like no. No, you know, the best I always tell people a setback is often a setup for something greater. Mm -hmm. So don't let no deter you. Let no actually drive you. Right. Because I've had a lot of people tell me no, and now they're emailing me. Oh my god! Now, <laughs> oh, she's on to something. She's up to something, and you know, you're going as an entrepreneur. You're going to meet people that do not believe in you, that do not support you, and it could be personal or professional. They may not right. support your brand. They may not support anything affiliated with you. Right. But that does not take away from who you are and what you have to offer. That's just one person of millions. Mm -hmm. Like, do you know how many people it is in the world? Like, you're going to eventually get a yes. And that one yes, that person truly believes in you mm -hmm. and they support you. So I would say just be authentic, be true. Do not let anyone tear your brand down. If you believe in it, it is so. 
Yeah. I had a lot of people tell me, why are you going to be a life coach? You're too young. Are you sure? Finish school. Just get a nine to five. Just live your happily married life. Oh. Yeah, I had a lot of people try to shut down family and some friends. Right. But if I were to allow them to, you know, if I would have listened to them, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Oh, yeah. So the yeah. nose, take the nose, put it in your pocket and keep moving. Yeah. And just be true to who you are and continue to invest in your brand. Do not water it down. Do not change it. Do not alter it for anyone. Your brand is you. Mm-hmm. And you don't want to water down yourself, so don't do it for your brand. Right. Now, how have you grown, you know, on this journey? Um, I've become more responsible, um, more understanding, more yeah. compassionate, more patient. Mm-hmm. As an entrepreneur, patience is something you're going to have to have because you may not have the budget. Yeah. The person you want to work with may not be available. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Things may not be going the way you want them to with your event or with whatever it is your business is, you know, providing. So I've learned to just be very pace, patient and present. I've learned to take every moment that I come across or every person that I encounter and really invest in those moments right. and those people. Right. Because before I really became who I am today, I took a lot of things and people for granted. But now with my new, you know, found respect for entrepreneurs, you can't. You have to really invest your time in every moment and every person because you, that might be the yes. Yeah. You know, like, so you have to really look at it like, you know, I may not want to go to this event. Or I may not want to go to this meeting, but you never know. Yeah. So I just learned to be present and patient and just really take my time and perfect my business and, and give it my all, whether it means spending my last on something or bartering. Right. Like, really just give it my all 100%. And do you credit your success to anyone? Um, probably my, my father, he's deceased now. Um, he taught me every survival skill that I have. He taught me to take the nose and keep pushing to get to you get to that yes. And he taught me to just be authentic in everything that I do, whether it's you know making pancakes or delivering life coaching services. Be authentic and do it from the heart. And my husband, he's been um beyond financially supportive of my business and just spiritually, mentally, and emotionally supportive and present and making sure that my business was a success. Not for him, not for anyone else, but for me because he knew it was something that I wanted. So my father and my husband. Great. Awesome. Well, this has been great, Trinity. Is there anything you would like to add or any clubs? <laughs> oh, clubs. Um, I will be hosting an event um, for RQ Uniquely. She was one of the vendors at my event. She had like three. Yes, the, she, um, that's the event for November 12th. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'll be hosting her event. It's going to be a huge um, event for her. It's the launch of her business, RQ Uniquely, who does um, custom favors for weddings, parties, party hosting, planning, decorating, anything party. She can do it November 12th. It's going to be at the Ujamba Construction Facility, which is 7912 South Stony Island, I believe. So look out for that. Three Empowered Ladies, we're working on some stuff. Um, and as I stated, T3 Life Coaching is entering into a deal with Nirvana Relations. So there's going to be some new marketing and branding there. And potentially a launch for T3 Life Coaching in spring of 2017. Great. So, awesome. And where can people contact you or find you? Um, my website is www.t3lifecoaching.com. You can find me on Instagram at Trinity Dobby, which is T R E N I T Y D O B B E Y. And Twitter I'm under the same name as well. Facebook, Trinity K Dobby, or T3 Life Coaching. Awesome. Well, thank you again, Trinity. You so you much. did a great job. Thank you. Thanks for talking with us, and I wish you much, much Likewise, success. Likewise, I wish you.